Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Code Randoms. Whoa. You are a pirate. <laughs> the One Piece. The One Piece is real. Look uh, at that. I'm cutting. This, this is cute. Cut, cut. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, but but yeah, this is cool. Um, fucking very reminiscent of old stuff. You said, uh, no, you def you had definitely watched it. It's just been a long time. Uh, we don't want to reveal to the fans that you have not watched OG Dragon Ball. Um, got a lot of animations, um, and then we got this stuff. Uh, Dokkan World's actually literally three minutes ago compiled the animation together. So, uh, shout out to Dokkan World. Thank you very we much. We weren't expecting this, right? This is... No, I mean, we're, we were like, we were like, surprised. you know, like, what's, what's, like, these guys gonna go into? Because, like, dude, they have, like, they had, like, no, he had no categories that would, like, like, make sense at all. Like, this was all, it was, like, like, goes, like... Dragon Ball Saga, um, like Youth, I think, and like other, a couple other ones. It was like there was no, no, they were, they were contemplating what it could have been, and then, um, and it's just trio out of nowhere, too. Holy oh, Krillin! I'm here for it. In the but... oh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Why is it not on global? Let's go. Why ahead. is it not on global? We were right, right there, there man. man. <laughs> God damn. We were right there. Let's check this out. So I got the OSC plan. This is the intro? I do wish that they make the free-to-play ones. Like, oh, that's kind of nice. This is their 12 key. I think this is where they're fighting the uh, pirate robot. Rock, paper, scissors. It's active skill. Guys, well, hey, guys, it's, <laughs> guys, she's 16. Stop it. I see Jared. Stop, stop fucking coping. <laughs> she's 16. Stop, stop it. <laughs> this is the, wait, was that the 18? Oh, so this is the 18 key. So that. <laughs> this is real. That's a really cute. That's really cute. Free -to -play card. Being a free to play card, dude. I mean, like I'd grind that. I wish they I, I wish they had like a costume exchange into those pirates, but you know, kind of random that that's the card art, but cool. I guess it's more, yeah, it's kind of just like that. So yeah, so this is the active skill. It's just like a like taunt, well not a taunt, but and then it goes into the twelve key. Well, but they did it. But I like the twelve key. I like the, I do I like it. It's cool. It's it's just this specific part, dude. God damn, she's got fucking massive ears. Um. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, you know what's funny is that uh, uh, Toon Rami's actually got better translations on his English translations. <laughs> Shout out to Toon Rami. Um, and then I had that open. But uh, So, Boy Edition is um, Dragon Ball you... Saga. Oh. oh, yeah. I believe that's what that is. Boy Edition. I think it's, well, J it, and Global, it's Dragon Ball Saga. On Duck and JP, it's, uh, um, what was it? It was, it was something... I called like it was like boy saga childhood or something. saga or so, something. something like that it, not specific that's why fucking uh world tournament goku um and uh, piccolo are on it um so when they appear with two or more allies and either earth race uh or earth race warriors or that or the dragon ball saga um the appearance will affect actively once so they get a one-time attack and defense 82 percent up um, they get 77 attack and defense from forming a super attack. Increased uh, attack by 30 for all allies in the um, uh, um, in the Dragon Ball Saga, except for yourself in that turn. So they give a 30% uh, support buff uh, when the super attack is activated. Defense all allies and uh, Earth and Earth Born Warrior um, is actually 30. Okay, so when they super attack, they get this, and they give uh, Dragon Ball Sock category allies 30% attack, and then when they super, um, we also give defense to Earthbred Warriors. Uh, for each ally in Dragon Ball Saga, they get one key and attack and defense 17% chance of crit. So, uh, what, what is that? Quick maths, quick maths. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, 
If there's an ally in Earthbred Warriors uh, category uh, participating in the attack besides yourself, I assume on rotation, um, attack and defense will increase by 77%. Always make, make so uh, do an additional medium chance of super, and also medium chance to dodge. They don't really have like anything crazy. What's their greatly raised attack and defense? Huge damage. Really second defense for one turn, colossal damage, uh, increases allies' attacks for for thirty percent. I wish it was for two turns. Why why couldn't that not easily have been two turns? You know, like this is like very clearly a th three slot kind of free to play unit. Well, because it'll be two... two turns when they easy a. <laughs> yes, right. They easy a during that thing, but um, at level twenty. So I don't know what this is. So super attack at level 20 um, special move plus 30% power of special moves. Maybe when they get tw 20 key, they get an extra additional. So extra I assume. Additional so let's 30%. say, I guess. So yeah. So if you hit 18 key, they are they're they're starting to do this now. Like I said, Ginyu, Ginyu like started doing this with with uh, with this kind of stuff. Well, I guess not really. I mean, I guess all the the old go tanks the old cards. old go tanks cards would kind of do this, but like. Like LRs are now starting to kind of do this a little more often, um, when you at least hit like twenty key and above. Um, and then what's their condition? Can be activated when there's only one enemy and the HP is fifty percent or more, or it can be uh, activated when all participants in the attack are. Uh... Oh, so you can just turn one if you have everybody in Dragon Ball Saga, just pop it. Nice buff. Increased uh, chance to evasion by 30% for one turn. Nullifies the actions of target enemies uh, once for that turn. Nullifies the actions. Is that a Ghost Usher? I wonder if it's just one. That's That would be... Uh, like, it's kind of hard to tell because it's translated from English. To, yeah. But, like, um, I, I would assume it would say something closer to, like, an attack break. That's but what says, I'm thinking. But it says nullifies. Which that sounds like it's just a ghost usher. A ghost usher, which would kind of be strong. Which is you can use a turn one. So kind I mean of. this this free to play unit on whatever goddamn categories. <laughs> J Fanta. On, J Fanta's gonna be like be able to <laughs> finally you can just use this no matter what. So that's Dragon Ball Saga. Yeah. Um Nice sprite. This is youth. Um oh yeah, the sprite. Oh yeah, it's Goku and Krillin. The old Old Krillin. What's yeah, this one? I know this damn well Goku forces. could have made some space for Krillin on Nimbus. Joint what forces? the hell, Goku? Yeah, what the? F well, no, because Krillin can't use it. Remember, they can't. He can't use it. Neither I can know, I never watched Dragon Ball. Um, they're not pure apart. <laughs> uh, Earthbred Warriors. And then what's this one? Is this one youth? What the fuck is this? Oh, is this? What is this one? Is that not youth? No, it's not youth because it's Chompa Earth. fucking youth. <laughs> is this Gift of okay. Warriors? I think this might be Gift Dragon Ball of Seekers? Warriors. Dragon Ball Seekers. You're right. This is what Dragon Ball Seekers. Oh, did you see up here? <laughs> Just see up here on the tab. Um, Link's Courage. Uh, Innocence. In fighter Dragon Ball Guidance. So a bunch of uh um Dragon Ball Links. I mean they have a Ghost Usher. They have value for being a free to play card. And not really hard to grind at all with these metals. What do you think, Mark? What do you how do you like them? Uh, I wish they were on global. Yeah. Nah, definitely a worthy addition for Dragon Ball Saga. That uh, gives me hope that we're gonna get major, major, major buffs to that category pretty soon. Maybe a new Dokkan Fest. Dokkan Fest King Piccolo, please. Yeah, Dokkan Fest King Piccolo. Dokkan, Dokkan Fest Kid Goku. I mean, uh, I mean the most successful celebrate like in terms of uh, a revenue from a uh, uh, from a Dokkan monthly, Fest month, was that Kid Goku. A monthly do do Kid Dokkan Fest was this Kid Goku. The Int one. Yep, I remember. I was in Las Vegas at the time when he dropped. It was yes. crazy that, was that they got top grossing so fast. Yeah, this is this is a cool card. I like it. Um, so uh, let's know what uh, 
what you guys think about this this is this wacky card <laughs> animations <laughs> six out of ten but you know i give it a 6.5 they're more like kind of like like nostalgic you just don't see those kinds of things really anymore like you'll see like like the same goku bunch like fifteen thousand times but you don't see uh kid goku smacking stuff with a stick stick very often oh all right guys well well See ya, see ya, bye bye. Oh yeah, by, by the way, tech ult for Gohan Easy A. What kind of crazy shit do we live in? Holy crap. Wow, bye guys, wow. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.